Hello, Amin. Hello, look. Okay, Daniel, I knew how to do it and I can't quite figure out how to do it again. So just bear with me. Oh, easy enough. Okay, you should be able to do it now, Daniel. Tess, why don't we go with that for now? But the, the problem is that it can, it can be anybody else too, pretending that they're Tess. Uh, if you guys want to get started, we can. I know we're a few minutes early, but that's all right. Uh, Kush, don't worry about that. That's something that's more specific to Brinkley. I think we cut that out. So if it's a term, just do the term, but don't worry about it. Nashi, I have no idea who Nashi is. Okay, so Nashi, you're supposed to use your school email. Um, David's question about the radical Repu radical Republicans. Um, again, those are the ones that wanted uh, wanted to treat the South more harshly. So if you just remember the way we did the review, the three X, so presidential reconstruction, Johnson versus the radical Republicans, radical Republicans win. I'm not sure what else you mean by that question. Okay. Oh, all you people, you're supposed to use your school address. Um, I have no idea what that Markiplier live stream thing is, but okay. Um, Maya Lincoln, he didn't exactly say so. I think eventually he intended to, um, but that wasn't part of it. It was just him abolishing slavery and getting the South back in. I think, I mean, I think historians have said that he probably would have wanted to. So there's there's more moderate radical Republicans um, and the more extreme ones. So the moderate ones wanted um, abolish slavery. They weren't necessarily for protecting the slaves and, and get or the former slaves. Now the radical Republicans are the one that uh, really created the space. So like uh, Sumner was a more radical Republican, you know. So they're the ones that had the troops in the South. Okay. Ben, uh, Ben's question about Greeley is the guy that ran against uh, Grant. He's a Republican, but he split off and formed the liberal Republicans because they didn't like um, they didn't like all the corruption under Grant. Kush's question about coolies. Coolies, are, it's the Chinese laborers that were recruited to uh, come to America. Rushi, uh, Rushi's question about the mining. The mining is uh, just you need you need money to have equipment to go deeper. So, I mean, that's how it got consolidated. Okay. They, uh, uh, Diaz question. Sorry, Diaz. Uh, the question about the whiskey ring fair. It's just skimming taxes off the whiskey, uh, whiskey tax, skimming money from the whiskey tax. But it's just an example of one of the uh, uh, corrupt things under Grant. Um. I don't know, Brady's question about the cowboy myth. I don't know if it, I mean, it didn't do anything. It just set the expectation for what cowboys are supposed to be. It kind of romanticized the West. The cowboys, again, the lonely, heroic, 
person that's in touch with nature. It's virtuous. Um, and so that gets transmitted by, again, the books and the theater shows and things like that. So. Okay. All you, I assume you're Ignati people, you guys are supposed to use your school email. Um, okay, Drew, somebody answered Drew's question about the Radical Republicans. Benjamin's asked the same question. Uh, we have the same question about the cowboy myth. Uh, don't worry about the Taos Indian Rebellion. That is something that we ended up. Okay. <clears throat> the reasons for impeachment, he violated the Tenure of Office Act, uh, technically. But really, they just didn't, they didn't like Johnson, so they wanted to get rid of him. Thank you, Lily, for answering that question. Comstock Low to Mean is just one of the big uh, mining strikes uh, that was out west. That's the one where the guy, that's the guy sold his claim for like 40 bucks, but they found like over 300 million uh, once they're able to go down deeper. Uh, made us question about the uh, lynching. They didn't do anything for a long time, especially because they're in the South. But even, even the federal government couldn't do much because the Southern Democrats then wouldn't support uh, uh, when sport like Roosevelt, for instance, was a liberal, but he couldn't get an anti-lynching law passed. David's question about social mobility in the West. Um, just that you could, well, it, you really couldn't move up. So whites were at top and it was uh, other folks, Hispanics, Chinese um, on the bottom. Megan's question about crop lien, L-I-E-N means uh, they get a claim. So you borrow money. And then they get a, they get first dibs on your crops. So like you borrowed a thousand dollars, they get the first thousand dollars of your crops. And if you can't pay it back, they can take all your crops and you still owe the money. Okay. My last question about the lost cause. The lost cause was when the Redeemer government came back in the South. And the lost cause was this idea that they they lost the Civil War, but they didn't really lose because their cause was unjust. They lost because they didn't have enough men, uh, didn't have enough uh, weapons. Lena's question, the concentration policy, it, it failed for two reasons. Um, the U.S. government, one, didn't supply them with food. So if they can't roam and hunt buffalo, then they need food and supplies. And the Bureau of Indian Affairs was pretty corrupt. But also, um, Bureau of Indian Affairs was corrupt. And also, then the younger warriors, if you remember, then that's when the Indian War started. So why stay, why stay in one area, especially if the U.S. government is not holding up their, their end? Uh, Shabam's question about the Civil Rights Act is to protect the freedmen. So this is when the South had started uh, enacting black codes under Johnson. Helena, I think I just answered your question. My gosh, why are you guys ask so many cowboy myth questions? The myth of the cow, I mean, you guys should know what the myth is. Again, that he's singular, that he's heroic, he's in touch with nature, he's virtuous, honest, hardworking guy. Um, in reality, it's just lonely and boring and low paying and uh 20 percent minority so not all white these question scallywags are southerners that cooperate with the reconstruction governments carpetbaggers are people from the north remember the um the political cartoon that we saw on wednesday when we we're doing a review drew's question plessy versus ferguson uh, Legalizes segregation. It says separate is equal. As long as you have a black train car and a white train car, that's the court case. Uh, that's fine. So you can have a uh, black bathroom and a white bathroom. That's fine. Separate, um, but equal is okay. Uh, David's question about Hispanics in California. They started losing their status. So remember, they dominate in California. Uh, once California switches over to the United States and whites begin moving out there, they displace Hispanics. Um, Shreya's question about Horace, uh, Shreya's question, sorry about Horace Greeley. He was the guy that ran against Grant. He was a Republican split off and formed the liberal Republicans. I think he actually died before the election though. But that's just how fed up with the, some Republicans were with Grant and the corruption is that they actually split off. Uh, Means question, no, Dallas, uh, the Taos Rebellion did not start the Indian Wars. Uh, Ria's question about Scalawags, carpetbaggers. There were people that came to the South 
Well, carpetbaggers came to the South Scalaway as cooperating. That is part of the complaint of Southern Democrats in particular, that they're being ripped off, that reconstruction governments are corrupt. And here these people are that came by to take advantage of them when they're down. Jaden's question about uh, sharecropping. Sharecropping is this because uh, you don't have enough land or supplies yourself. You uh, you agree to farm and then you give up half your crops. Uh, Brady's question about the sorry, you guys are going quick now. Brady's question about Fourteenth Amendment. Fourteenth Amendment did pass. Um, they they had the military occupation in there because the because the South still weren't giving rights to blacks. So this is when radical Republicans are in effect. Okay, people, you're supposed to sign in with your school email. So go back and sign in with your school email. David's question about the frontier thesis. Frontier thesis is Jackson, Frederick Jackson Turner's frontier thesis. Again, American Americans and who we are is, and our values are made by uh, the challenge of the frontier. So constantly trying to carve out uh, the wilderness and you know make it civilized, that's who shaped us. He has a question about the Sand Creek Massacre. Like, men, women, and children are killed. That's where they kill everyone. Maya's question, you don't need to know the Tweed Ring for this. It, it is an example of corruption in the North. So I know in the, in the different chapters we gave you, it had that. But it's not for this, for this unit. Cush Texas Longhorns are the football team for the University of Texas. Okay. May, uh, made this question about liberal republic. They were just anti-corruption. Those are the people that didn't like all the corruption under the Grant administration. Thank you, Kyle, for actually answering this question. Dia's question about the uh, Timber and Culture Act. It's just another way to get more land. So the Homestead Act, for the average uh, farmer, it's not enough. And so Timber and Culture Act is a way to get more land. Uh, Rushi, your question, that is a big question. Um, <clears throat> Native Americans, they start off again as the wards, they are seen as wards of the U.S. government. They're supposed to move west and be protected by the government, remember, by Jackson, west of the Mississippi. It starts with a concentration policy where they get them to settle down. And then we get um, concentration policy, then it goes to the Indian Wars. Eventually, they're forced onto reservations. They, uh, they have to give up. They... Uh, and they're different tribes, but they all end up on reservation, same fate. Then they pass the Dawes Act to try to make them farmers and make them assimilate into white culture. Uh, and they also, like the children are sent to like uh, Carlisle or to schools, Indian schools, try to make them uh, assimilate again. Uh, somebody answers Shreya's question about Comstock Load or Google it. Ron's question about Coolies, Google it too. Anything you guys can Google, you should. Okay, hey, Arusha, I think, oh, uh, hold on. Sorry, I'm losing track of where I'm at now. Um, I'm these uh, three different Republican group. You guys, you probably know radical Republicans. Um, I mean, then there's the moderate ones that didn't want to go as far as the radicals. Uh, and then the liberal Republicans under Grant that, again, split off because they didn't like the corruption. Kyle's question about the 13th Amendment. Kyle, you didn't look it up. Because if you looked it up, you would know what the significance is. Um, Karan's question about the women in the West. Uh, they're an important part of the settlement. Again, they're equal. Think, think back to the um, on the Overland Trail where women can't be the pious, pure, domestic, submissive. Um, they are, you know, they're equals. And so very few women in mining towns, uh, if they were there, they're doing domestic work. They're probably married and followed their husband out there. And if they're single, you know what they did. So... Uh, yes, thank you, Lilith, for that addition about women out in the West. Benjamin, the Reconstruction Acts themselves are the ones, I mean, there's three of them, but just remember, those are the ones that divide the South 
into five military districts, put a general in charge. Lena's question, the Desert Act is uh, you can buy more land if it was uh, dry. That's why it's called the Desert Act. Okay, Sebastian's question about black codes and Jim Crow laws. Black codes, again, are trying to recreate slavery uh, without slavery. That's the, I mean, I think some people mentioned like the labor contracts, That that's black codes. So if you were idle, then they could make you uh, they could make you work, essentially, which is essentially like slavery. Jim Crow laws are the laws after the end of Reconstruction, and those are the ones that are more about segregation, um, again, the separate bathrooms, separate drinking fountains, separate schools. Okay, so different time and place. The means question: The Dawes Severalty Act is they are trying to turn Indians into farmers, so they give them individual plots of land, no more tribal land. Uh, individual plots of land. They're supposed to not be able to sell it for 25 years, but a lot of them get tricked out of that regardless. Uh, Dia's question, the significance of the Chisholm Trail, that's the trail they used to get up to the railheads, right? Where they drove they drove the cattle up the trails up to the rail towns and then put them on the cars and shipped them out east, back east. Uh, Brennan, we didn't focus on Chief Joseph. Chief Joseph is one of the guys that try to run away from the U.S. government, but out in like uh, uh, the Northwest area, like Seattle or the Oregon, Washington area, I think more so Washington. Uh, they ended up eventually capturing him and his tribe. They just ran out of food and it was cold. My last question about railroads and the buffalo. Uh, railroads help contribute to the destruction of the buffalo. Remember, it's the destruction of the buffalo that contributes to the downfall of Native Americans. Karan, I don't quite understand your question about the transcontinental railroad. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, I'm falling way behind here. Okay. Okay, everybody, we don't need to know it's how syndrome rebellion. Um, Kush's qu question about the significance of barbed wire that helps end the cattle. Oh my god, you're not paying attention in class. The cattle drives the big blizzard 86 87 cattle stuck on the, on the barbed wire, and all the open land is being cut up. Okay, Prachi's question about Sand Creek. Somebody answer that for her. We already answered that. Um, Benjamin's question about the uh, Atlanta Compromise. He's speaking to white business owners. So he's essentially, I mean, he's speaking to blacks, but he's literally at that time, he's speaking to white business owners. So you can trust us. Give us your jobs because uh, we're loyal and hardworking. Okay, sorry, I'm losing track of where I'm at. Okay, apparently nobody knows the Atlanta Compromise. Yeah, so that's Booker, you gotta, and so you have to understand Booker T again. So Booker T, blacks should accept segregation. They should um, learn a vocational skill. So, you know, learn, be a carpenter or something like that. Find some way to support themselves. Okay, the Hispanics are losing status in California. Whites are moving there and they're the ones taking the jobs. And becoming the owners. Okay. AJ's question about executive power, that's the suspension of habeas corpus in particular. So Lincoln could suspend habeas corpus, uh, or he did suspend habeas corpus. Even the idea of emancipation proclamation, you're taking people's power or taking people's property without compensation, right? Which you can't do according to the Constitution. So um, it's usually in times of crisis like a war that the president's powers tend to expand. Okay, David's question about the railroads and westward expansion, they help because you could move supplies out there easier. You think about before, you had to whatever you had to take whatever you could in a wagon, that's it, right? Um, uh, I lost your question now, I can't see the rest of it. T -t 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 uh, anyways, type in your question again. Sorry, I am trying to keep up, you guys are going fast. Prachi's question about wounded knee, Prachi, look it up. 
Tessa's question about KKK, they terrorize blacks in the South to get them to stop voting so the Democrats, Southern Democrats win again. Now you know, it's the same thing. Kelsey's, uh, it's 40 acres in a mule, 40 acres in a mule. Um, it was actually General Sherman's uh, field order. So uh, it was in effect for a short time, then they rescinded it. He had to rescind it. The significant, well, you're just asking a question a different way. It's one of the massacres against Native Americans. Sand Creek is one, wounded knees the other. Um, David, I don't know what you mean by they criticize railroads. Railroads got land from the government. So. Uh, Emma, that is a great question. I don't know why Ohio and New Jersey didn't ratify the 14th until then. Yeah, you guys all have the same question. Coolies, coolies were recruited, were, were Chinese laborers that were recruited to America to, to work, particularly on the railroads. Uh, yeah, I thought you were coming for the timber contract. That's one of the ways to get more land for the farms because 160 acres wasn't enough for the typical farmer. AJ's question about the 14th. It was just Johnson. Johnson hated the 14th Amendment, hated the Civil Rights Act, hated the 14th Amendment. And so Johnson you know, essentially is a racist. He doesn't like the Southern, uh, the Southern aristocrats. He doesn't like blacks either. So he didn't like the 14th Amendment. Radical Republicans wanted in the showdown of the 1866 midterm was whether that's going to be ratified or not. And the Radical Republicans won because people supported it, and that was the end of Johnson. David, pretty funny there, buddy. My last question about Johnson's view on blacks, he didn't like them. I, again, he was, uh, I just listened to a podcast, uh, heard a podcast yesterday. They, um, they said Johnson was actually an indentured servant at one point and ran away from it. And so he didn't like, well, and that means he didn't like the aristocrats because he probably wanted to be one, but uh, didn't like blacks again. Social mobility in the West doesn't really exist. The 14th Amendment didn't really lead to reconstruction bills. It's, it's just now that the radical Republicans are in charge. Then the, we talked about the railroads. I mean, one, they're, I mean, they're probably hit some Buffalo, but more people shooting out of the trains at Buffalo, sir. Prachi, you keep asking all the questions. They're just examples of, Comstock Load is an example of one of the big uh, mining strikes. Somebody answer Heidi's question about the Timber and Culture Act. I feel like we've been in this for a while. Emma's, uh, it was the first half of On the Media. Um, they talked about Andrew Johnson's impeachment. And actually, they, they said to start, some historians think now that last vote that uh, wasn't cast to convict him, uh, he might have been bribed. They kept, that he went to Johnson to, uh, he kept on going to Johnson to ask for things. So he wouldn't cast that vote. Yeah, Dia's question about yeah, John. Well, it's, it's significant because it's the first time president's been impeached. But yeah, essentially that is the end of Johnson. I mean, he was it was the end of him anyways uh, because he lost the midterm election. Radical Republicans were in charge, which means John, and they could override him. Johnson's not going to get anything he wants. Man, this question about the ghost dance. That's one of the things the Native Americans did to try to bring back the old ways, and it scared the American soldiers, and they opened fire. Like a wounded knee. Yeah, yeah. You could, you could, you had technically had to buy the land. They're not just going to give you more land, but just gave you the opportunity to buy more land. Oh, Benjamin, lynching is when a mob gets a hold of you and uh, hangs you from a tree, typically. Shalom, you look up Custer, you can look that up. Oh, 
another cowboy myth. Cowboy myth that sets up the ex. I mean, creates a romance size of the West. That yeah, the West is, um, the West is out there with nature. The cowboy is lonely and hero. Essentially, it's Frederick Jackson's frontier thesis. It's put on the cowboy. That's uh, you know that's who we are, and he symbolizes that. But in reality, cowboys again, it's lonely, boring, low paying, and they weren't all white. Here's a question, Chisholm Trail. Uh, that's one of the trails they drove the cattle up to the uh, to the rail centers. Um, Benjamin's question, but not by not by the Southern Democrats. That would be kind of bad if congressmen were lynching people. It's done by the mob, Southerners uh, down south. So it's more for a. I think I got to it in your class. The social, how do you enforce social norms? It's like somebody violates a social norm, like you're dating a white woman, then you might find yourself lynched. Carpetbaggers came down to the South to make money. I mean, everything's destroyed. They got to rebuild it. And what better place to do that than in the South? Uh, my next question, the failures of the Republic, I don't, I mean, people say we're, Reconstruction failed because um, uh, Reconstruction failed because uh, um, you know because essentially the Southern Democrats took over and Jim Crow laws took place and stuff like that. So the other the other trail is uh, Good Night Loving. Yes, that's the name of the, the actual trail. Brian, you keep asking like, what is your question about the Transcontinental Railroad? Dia's question about uh, concentration policy. The concentration policy, they had to get the Indians that are nomadic, so they're roaming the plains to settle down. So once they settle down, now you can negotiate with each tribe in terms of like taking their land. But when they're all just kind of roaming about the plains, then that makes it really hard. Nada, exactly. Tenure of Act essentially was a, was a trap for Johnson. I, the podcast called it a tripwire. They knew he was going to do it, and he did. Hottie's question, it was essentially after, I mean, it's after the 1866 election where Repu radical Republicans took over because they passed Reconstruction Acts after that, but uh, that or Johnson's impeachment, you could say. Sherry's question, yes. Ended with a compromise of 77. Thank you, Lily. Fewer people on the chat. This four o'clock's a bad time for people. Maybe. Okay, uh, someone answered Karan's question about concentration policy. I feel like I've answered this like three or four times now. Um. Compromise of 1877, David, that's the one that, uh, re that's the end of Reconstruction. Republicans get the presidency with Hayes and they pull out the troops. Thanks, Satanchu. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, David. D um, Karan, look at David's uh, question about the, or question slash statement about the uh, concentration policy. AJ's question about Chief Joseph. He is the one that, uh, he was on the run from the federal government, tried to flee to Canada in the Northwest uh, and failed. They eventually captured him. He, him and his people are uh, put on reservations. Swedish question. It just outline. I mean, that kind of epitomizes uh, Booker T. Washington's speech. Epitomizes the the conditions for African Americans after Reconstruction. So, speech again. Accept segregation. Learn a vocational skill. Support your support your uh, learn to support your family. Um, I, uh, you guys look up anything you can Google. You should Google. You can help explain it if you don't understand it.
Man, Alex Gresham, the people that brought the cows on the trail, those cowboys. Emma, I, I, I think I've heard it once or twice. So, you'd recommend it though? Oh, revision. It's Malcolm Gladwell, I think, right? Revisionist history. D's question: Risky ring, whiskey ring affair. They that is when they were stealing money, whiskey taxes, and just example of the corruption under Grant that frustrated people. That's why and part of the reason why people wanted to end Reconstruction was because of all the corrupt, corruption. Ashley, uh, Chief Joseph really didn't have an impact. He's more just an example of Native Americans. You, you can fight or you can run, but either way, you're going to end up on a reservation at that time. I'll have to check it out, Emma. Thank you for the recommendation. Uh, made this question, after the end of Reconstruction, they go to Jim Crow laws. Jim Crow laws, they can't vote, can't even register to vote. Um, lynching takes place down there. That's that's when all the, it's just, it, it's a dramatic. So if you think about radical reconstruction being sunshine and rainbows, and particularly for African-Americans, after that, it's it's like winter for African-Americans. No, no, few rights, no votes, can't work, stuck on the land, and lynching. The, that they're part of the Reconstruction government. Again, so why do Southern Democrats hate the Reconstruction government? One, Blacks can vote and hold office and hold power over them. But secondly, they feel like it's just, well, scallywags they feel like are traitors and carpetbaggers they feel like are outsiders coming uh, to, to rip them off. How do you, I don't think so. Like we went over the questions to make sure there weren't like Brinkley specific ones. Oh, I guess if you have time, you can. So honestly, I mean, this is part of the experiment of whether just reading those shorter ones can, um, <laughs> reading those shorter ones can help us. Uh, good thing I know who you are, Tanshu. I'll, uh, I'll make a recording and then you can just play it while you sleep. Um, yeah, I think there are four fifths, 80% of them are probably in there. There might be a few that you need to look up. Uh, my the populist movement is not on this test. That's one of those things that shouldn't show. Um, it shouldn't show up as a term, and so it wouldn't be. It's not something you need. So again, cross reference it with lecture, with um, lecture and uh, and the terms. And if it doesn't show up in either one of those, it, it's not. It's coming up, I think, in next unit. Gosh, you didn't read the rest of his carpet bag. Okay, Quran, uh, we don't need to, uh, you don't need to worry about the Taos Indian Rebellion. His bag said Ohio, not OH. <laughs> Funny, David, that, that's what we concluded. Um, I, I think, David, your question about the effects of the frontier thesis, it, it's more so because the frontier closed in 1890. People are worried, like, what's going to happen to Americans? Um, if that, if, it's, if the frontier is what shaped us and that's no there, it's no longer there, then what's going to shape us now?
I mean, the wounded knee in 1973 is when the uh, Indians uh, protesters, uh, they occupied wounded knee purposely. Now that you know what happened to wounded knee back here in 1890, that they wanted to draw attention to that. Little Bighorn is one of the victories by the Indians, short lived. I mean, it didn't matter too much. It didn't mean, it didn't account for anything, but it was a victory for Native Americans at that time. That's where Custer, the guy from Monroe, was. Uh, him and all of his men were killed. Yep, thank you, Kyle. They would, uh, they had because they're nomadic. They're running all over the plains. It's not not a great analogy, but it's like a bunch of kindergartners running around. You got to get them to stop at some point, and then you could then you could negotiate with each one or with each tribe. So essentially, there were railroads at this time. Yes. I guess looking at your question again, David, um, yeah, I think the end game probably is to put them on reservations. I know the, the AMSCO book, the chapters you guys read, talked about reservations and not concentration policy. Ooh, no, it's actually reservations were for the Indian tribes. <laughs> oh, gosh, the... Uh, Hispanics were losing status out west. As as more whites are moving out west, Hispanics are losing um, their position. Um, Tanshu, I'm not sure where you got that from. Thank you. Good answers, Amin and Charlotte. Uh, somebody answered Benjamin's uh, little bighorn question. Horace Greeley, he's the liberal Republican that ran against Grant. Again, as a result, there's a lot of Republicans that are um, that want to split it, where want to do something about the Grant's corruption. You know, so much of the fact that they actually ran a third party. The Indian reservations, once they get them there, then they can take all the land. So they get left with like the worst land. So even when they had reservations and, you know, sometimes they'd find gold on them like the Black Hills and then they would just move them to a different land. Karan, the reconstruction bills were the ones that created the five military districts and the general in charge. AJ's question about the emancipation problem, it changed the purpose of the war. It goes from saving the Union, preserving the Union, to now ending slavery. Akash, the Emancipation Proclamation, remember, it was during the war. It didn't actually free anybody. It was only in the areas of rebellion. 13th Amendment is what officially abolishes slavery. That's a good question. I know this question about the crop lien system. Again, a lien is a claim. So you borrow money from the country store and then they, they get they get to claim your crops first. So you borrow $1,000 and you only grow $500 worth of crops. They get to claim that, okay, because you owe them money. Um, David, the boom bust cycle, one part, because there's boom bust in terms of pricing. Remember, they're, they're competing globally now. Uh, on the market, um, and it just wasn't good conditions, right? They had problems with the weather. There's not enough water. They only grew cash crops, and so even the corporations didn't really try to uh, become independent. They still depended on stuff from the east. So it's a, it's tough to make it out there as a farmer, uh, as the individual farmer, and so it became corporate. But even the corporate farmers had a hard time. 
Uh, Tanishka, the Bureau of Indian Affairs, not so much lazy, corrupt. Corrupt and incompetent. So corrupted, uh, like they would give uh, spoiled food to the Indians, like rotten meat, moldy flour, um, and couldn't get them supplies. That's part of the frustration from the Indians and how the Indian War started. Yeah, it was a massacre where they killed the men, women, and children. So remember the quote from Chivington was like the nits make lice. So the babies will grow up to be uh, adults and we'll just have to kill them then. So kill them now. I mean, it's just, it's one of the atrocities committed. And I mean, there's, there's more to it, obviously, but that for our significance or for our importance, that's what you should know. Again, during the Indians war, there's a lot of terrible things that are committed. Crime or uh, atrocities committed, not crimes, although it is a crime. Meta, and don't forget where you wash out the sand. Nice, Charlotte. I like how you know this specific <laughs> page. Gosh, the greenbacks are um, greenbacks are the uh, the the biggest possible money supply. So farmers wanted to remember more money out there because uh, when there's tight money, there's not, not a lot of dollars floating around. It hurts people that borrow money, like farmers. And so they wanted greenbacks. Greenbacks, where they just did that during the Civil War, where you just print up money, even though you don't have all the gold to back it. Oh, you guys are running out of questions here. How do you, habeas corpus is lo the government locking you up? And so if you watch enough uh, cop shows, uh, um, police dramas, the uh, they can only lock you up for 48 hours. They have to charge you or let you go, charge you with a crime or let you go. Lincoln suspended that. So he, um, because like critics of the war, you just didn't want them criticizing the war. It's hard enough to have a war. So really not a good reason to do that, but he did it. Uh, women in the West, um, somebody help Ashley out with that question. I think we've talked about that. Indian War with the Sioux, I think that it was with um, the Sioux that killed a little bit or that killed Custer at Little Bighorn. Sure, Tasha. You just need you need, you just need evidence. Made this question about the Dawes Act. Um, Dawes Act again is trying to get Indians to assimilate to white culture and by assimilate, like turn them into farmers. So they gave them individual plots of land, not tribal land, and they weren't supposed to be able to sell it for twenty five years, but they still got tricked out of it. Okay. Anybody answer Ashley's question about uh, what that was up there? Tanishka, yes. And so remember, because they did men's jobs, they were more equals and they got the right to vote actually first out west. Oh, Emma, that's a good question. I could talk to you uh, maybe uh, before class or after class. Just the short answer is like after Reconstruction, they didn't need to disenfranchise blacks because they couldn't vote because the, the Southerners were in charge again. The nativist anti-Catholic movement in the 1920s is more Midwestern-based. It's anti-change. So anti-immigrant, anti-black, anti-flapper, anti-Catholic. They're, they're anti-change. And in the 50s and 60s, it is more to hang on to their way of life as, uh, you know, because of the civil rights movement that was going on. 
because the border Akash, the border states had slaves. Yes, Tashi, I think I think if we just wait, you'll end up like saying the name by accident. Pragya, you did miss that the meaning of life is 42. Okay, that's depressing, Gabriel. Um, Cash, because Committing uh, or breaking away from the countries, a traitorous act. That's why they didn't want to join the Confederacy. So again, Lincoln Lincoln stressed he's not trying to end the war or end slavery, and doesn't until like halfway through. Yeah. Uh, executive power rose during the Civil War. Again, Emancipation Proclamation, habeas corpus is suspended. They can print money. They can draft. Kron, you've been on this. We've answered that question before about. Social mobility in the West. Yes, the time shoe, especially on the West side of Ikea there. Uh, Bon, he's not around here. Emma, that's the whole debate. It's not even, well, the military, the statues. It's because that's that's the story that gets spun after the, that's why it's the lost cause. So they didn't lose because their cause was unjust. They lost because, uh, again, they just didn't have enough people. Came up short. Um, so... David, significance of the Chinese Exclusion Act, first time a group is banned from this country. So. Uh, Rhea's question about Johnson. Yeah, they were over. Yeah, he vetoed the Freedmen's Bureau. That was, uh, they overrode them. And um, the Civil Rights Act overrode them too. Okay. Someone answered Parker's question. Yeah, we can we can discuss the statue thing maybe after the AP exam. That would be an interesting dive into it. Kasha's question: When did the Civil War change? It because it was going lousy for the North in the beginning. Then he issued literally halfway in between. He he issued, Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation, um, and then he found better generals too. So. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by backlash to reconstruction. If you mean by it ending, then yes, that happened. Yes. It's the veto, uh, yeah. Technically, it's called over overriding a veto, not overruling. That's like a court. Uh, Dia's question, yes. The different types of um, Republicans. I don't think that's a big deal, but don't quote me on that. They passed the 15th Amendment to protect blacks from the KKK. So to, to guarantee, again, you want to guarantee anything, it's the guaranteeing the right, or you put it in the Constitution. So that's the 15th Amendment. Um, stuff like that, literacy tests and poll taxes. I mean, in the Constitution, it's only as good as like the courts will support. So afterwards, the courts don't support um, that. They say it's, it's not unconstitutional because it's always up for debate. Lena's question, uh, Frederick Remington. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Mallory, good point. The Chinese exclusion act banned Chinese labor. Students can come, family members can come. Uh, it also prevented them from becoming citizens, though. Okay, that's a big thing. I'm stressed.
Uh, Parker, you should. I'm pretty sure Mr. Ignani gave that to Uh, Ron, I'm not uh, sure if that's a question. Like, put your things in the form of a question. Uh, Diaz, uh, when the reconstruction bills resulted from radical Republicans take when they when they got more support during the midterm election, then they could do what they wanted, and that's the reconstruction bills. So that's when the radical Republicans took control. My in the 1920s, because there's a lot of change happening in the 20s. It's the Roaring Twenties. Lots of parties. Um, people get scared and they go back to what it's very short lived in the 1920s. I mean, it, it peaks pretty quickly and then it actually drops off before the end of the twenties, but they did have a parade down in Washington, DC, which tells you kind of their, uh, importance for that time. Um, made this question. The liberal Republicans are actually a separate group. They, I think the Democrats nominate Greeley too, just to try to get the uh, radical Republicans out of there, but they're not the same. Thank you, Kyle. Now, I think it's the other way around. The Democrats picked really. They were, Tanishka. Since you guys are running out of questions. Frontier thesis, Frederick Jackson Tears Frontier thesis, again, Americans and who we are, honest, hardworking, problem solvers, uh, has been shaped by the challenge of the frontier. Um, and the concern is because the frontier closed in 1890, um, we don't really know what's going to shape us now. The, the New South, I mean, I think you should know the New South in terms of economy. What did they try to transition to because uh, um, because they were trying to become the New South? And the answer is they, they built railroads, they built factories. Um, and they're actually they're pretty good at it. I mean, they don't catch up to the North because they're so far behind, but that's good. Maya, I don't think so. You don't. Well, I mean, you need to know Frederick Jackson Turner in his frontier thesis, but I don't think anything else. Now, and now if it's in a term, then yes, but otherwise, no. Uh, somebody answered Parker's question about social mobility. Lena's question. Uh, the redeem South, I think, is the the. It's more general in terms of the. That that includes the political. So the redeem South is that the Southern Democrats took over. Again. Emma, if you dig a little deeper, I did a paper in college about the KKK. And I, they just make all that stuff up. So you could become like the Grand Imperial Wizard or you could be the Grand Eagle Wizard. And it, I mean, it's, honestly, it sounded more like a boys club in the 1920s. Then you would have to, they said they spelled everything with like a K. So you're like, the, mom, give me some of those clap dogs. So kind of, kind of silly. Um, Emma, I take it your brother's probably Kyle. Tell him I said hello next time you see him.
Okay, I'm not sure what that means about you guys. <laughs> but you're putting things in with a K. Of course, you need to know the secret sign to get into the club, too. Yeah, but wait until you find out how the Ku Klux Klan ended in the 1920s. Sand Creek is one of the atrocities committed against the uh, Native Americans. Mallory, uh, the cowboys drove the cattle up the trail. I don't know if you want something more than that. <laughs> no, Emma, it is. Um, it gets crazier than that. And remember, they had to sell you stuff like Bibles and robes and hoods in membership. Uh, Shreya, the, I think what triggered the Wounded Knee Massacre was they were doing the ghost dance. Okay, Atanasi was going to be busy the rest of the night thinking of words you can spell with K or substitute a K in there. No, Maya, but they did get Sand Creek in there. Or sand in their wounded knee. That's how we're going to remember it. Uh, Kelsey, yeah, that's more like it then. Uh, Praga, you can't. In Praga, you're, you're not using your school address. Jane's question about the lost cause. The lost cause is a southern. It's from a southern viewpoint. So they they lost the war not because their cause was unjust. It's because they uh, they just didn't have enough men and weapons. Okay, it's kind of like when you play a game and you feel like you should have won, but you didn't. Okay, I have no idea what you guys are talking about now, Bon. Um, oh, I see. Don't like the, the I didn't know kids still play D&D. Cal, good answer there. Uh, the other question, the significance of the trans one, it makes it easier to bring supplies out west. That's uh, you know, the idea of the, of the railroad it, again helps make settling the west easier. Uh, that's where they have the Irish labor gangs and the Chinese coming from the east and Chinese labor gangs coming from the west. So, I mean, the, probably the biggest importance that connects the country. Now you can go literally across the country. Oh, I didn't know so many people still played it. Tansu, you're going to get yourself the auto ban, man. Um, Tanishka, I don't understand your question. The Wade Davis bill was the radical Republicans' idea to readmit the uh, southern states. But remember, that got pocket vetoed. And so once that got pocket vetoed and Lincoln uh, got assassinated, Johnson had the power. Essentially, it was the Johnson plan. And once Johnson has powers, that's when the Black Codes get enacted. Um, he lets, you know, he I thought in the podcast I listened to it was like 100, 100 pardons a day. So you just, you know, you couldn't, I think if you had wealth over 20,000 or something, you couldn't get admitted back or you couldn't, you couldn't participate unless you got a pardon. So they all had to come to Johnson for a pardon. If that's what he loved because you got all these rich people coming to the, uh, coming to him for a pardon. Mm, Emma, I don't know if that's to me. Michael Donald? Uh, the Johnson plan was essentially like the Lincoln plan. So it was, it was going to go easy on the South. And so the South passed black codes during that time. The South elected Southern officials, including 
uh, Stevens, I can't remember his name, Stephen, the guy from Georgia that was like vice president of the Confederacy, they elected him to the Senate. Um, Pranavi, I, don't, not, I mean, whatever dates that are in, the, in a term, but it's just to give you a sense, because it, I think sometimes when you, you know, when I was first learning this, like, it seemed to go back and forth in time. So just so you understand that it's overlapping. No, Johnson was not a Hollywood, Bollywood villain. Well, I don't know. I guess I don't know Bollywood villains. He was just a bad president. Yes, Matt, he came up one, sh one boat short. <laughs> Dia's question, uh, the Ogala Sioux tribe, I think that you're talking about. I'm not sure. I don't think that was, we didn't get that specific. And I'm not sure where you're getting Sydney from. Okay, you guys are half asking questions and half not. Okay, David, take that somewhere else. <laughs> Hey, apparently a lot of Juice World fans on the uh, on the chat tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Kelsey. They are cows. Those are the cows that could make the survive the cattle cattle drive. They're more hardy. Yeah, I'm not sure what all the F's are. So somebody cleanly explain that. Uh, Emma, there's a few, if I, I think I know your leanings there, um, but I, I'll tell you in class. Not necessarily here, or I'll tell you, since you're not in my class, and some other in between class. Um, Diaz thing, the force acts, the force acts is what they use to try to control the KKK so blacks could vote. Oh, thanks, David. Now I can, uh, now I know what that means, I think. Uh, just search it. It's on the media. Is the podcast. <laughs> yeah, you guys, we only got a few more minutes, so you can show your respects afterwards, kids, I guess. Yeah, I, I, honestly, you guys, we have a few, uh, few, just a couple more minutes. Probably, uh, yes, on the media, OTM. Okay, I think we about run our course. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, everyone. Uh, don't forget to buy the merchandise. We'll see you in school tomorrow.